Well, hi everyone, and thanks for coming back to the channel. So, if you can remember a video I did, um, I think it was about two videos ago, I was here at my little um, spot here where I started my astro imaging. I said I'd be back. Well, tonight I am back, and I'm not alone. I've brought somebody with me. So, he brought me. <laughs> You guys all know him as Glenn from Astro Bloke. We're going to do a little bit of um, imaging you tonight. Yeah. Uh, you're going to get your drone up shortly. And Glenn's got some new additions to his drone. He's got, uh, got a little extender and some nice little, uh, what are they, like helicopter feet, aren't they? Little helicopter feet. <laughs> right, so Glenn's just getting his drone all set up. Just waiting for some satellites. <laughs> oh, we've got action. That's the last we'll see of that. Well, so Glenn decided that it'd be good fun to fly his drone over my house. <laughs> but it was a little bit too far, well I think it's too far, and uh, he lost uh, response with it. So um, he's just hit the uh, return to home function and it is now come about, I can hear it. It's on its way back. Where is it? Oh, above it's us. directly above us. Yeah, the camera's not gonna pick it up. <laughs> I thought I was gonna lose it. Yeah. No, it was fine. <laughs> That's um, right, return to home is brilliant. Yeah, I know. It, it, yeah. it, 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 it saves Excellent. your life. Well, I have a drone as well, and as yet, I'm to put it up. Oh, so, I'm um, take it to your house. I'm not taking mine yeah, away. Yeah, back garden. <laughs> Laying it in the garden. Hey, do you reckon um, I could get the wife to hook a can of drink on it and bring Did it back? Did she see it or not? <laughs> she heard it, yeah. She heard it. Okay, so we've moved to a new location and uh, Glenn is now setting up the coffee station, which is always a good thing. Um, we're just waiting for the clouds to clear. There's unfortunately a lot more clouds than we were planning on. But by the time we've had a coffee or two, they may have gone. This is a great location. We're very high up. There's no obstructions all around us. You can see right down to the horizon all the way around. There. So, um, hopefully, if the clouds go, we'll get some imaging done. It's a very important job here. This is the coffee station. Coffee <laughs> yeah. Don't tell me you've lost the coffee. Do you know what? I've not used any of the camping gear in this van since we went on our last star party. <laughs> that was over a year ago. <laughs> That's what I said to Kelly. I said, we've not been out in the van at all. We've not done anything. Well, actually, no, it wasn't quite. We're coming up for a year. It was it's November, terrible, wasn't it? It's, like, it's just been so busy with the move and, yeah. and all the stuff that we've done. You know, we've both been really busy building observatories. Uh, we have. And that's really, <laughs> it's amazing how much time it takes up, isn't it? It does. So any of you thinking of uh, building an, obs an observatory, be warned. Yeah, it's very time consuming. It's very time consuming. <laughs> but worth it when it's done. Oh, absolutely. See, Glenn is here with me on site, on location, but uh, if the clouds clear away, he's going to be remote on entry, is obviously, from here. I will be. And getting one of his rigs up and running, so um, it's very useful to be able to do that. Nice one, Glenn. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Look at this, coffee and French fancies, huh? So we're just doing a little bit of DSLR work. Oh, we're waiting for the clouds to go. This is a six second exposure. Oh, it's a little bit bright, there we go. Out of focus. Oh, yeah. Nice cloud formation. Here. <laughs> so Glenn has put his uh, camera on upside down and he's obviously so the uh, rig is I just put it on there. the side so I've got to screw it to wall but I can see the roof moving look yeah and the roof is open 
Yeah. Oh, okay. It's a shame it's upside down. <laughs> but yeah. The roof has opened. The roof has opened. Oh well. I'll we'll just check, make sure everything's good. I might show it, close it as well. Make sure it closes. Oh yeah, it's closing. That's good. It's nice to know everything works. Yeah. It's good to be able to remote in when you're yeah, away from home. Yeah, it makes a big difference. Well, it's been nice and warm in the van. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's cold out there. Well, this is uh, coffee number two, and that's because we've still got clouds. But there are definitely some stars coming. Simon's been really naughty and not eating any French ranches, and I'm eating them all. Yeah, I'm being good. I'm trying to trying to give them up. <laughs> it's clear there, Simon, just above us. Yep. It's definitely clear on out. I can see stars. About another free coffee's time and we'll be underway. <laughs> not at this rate, it's not boiling. Oh, turn the gas up. It's on full. So Glenn's now gonna have a little nap. <laughs> I'm gonna have a carbon monoxide nap. So he's got his he's got his fire on. Well shut up. I'm I'm, I'm happy. We've had to leave a, a crack in the door so he doesn't die of carbon monoxide poisoning. But um I said when I come back from the camera, if he's asleep, I'm going to give him a kick just to wake him up. When I, when I was in the fire service, one of the questions I had on my from my divisional officer to see whether I could become fully qualified was what colour does somebody go when they're suffering from carbon monoxide poisoning, right? And the answer is cherry pink, right? <laughs> but I couldn't think of it, and I said ready pink. And he went, well... That's not quite right. And I said, well, like a reddish pink. And he went, no. He said, I'll give you a lifeline, a, a fruit. And I sat there and I thought, I don't know any pink fruit. And then I went, I know it's not pomegranate. Is it grapefruit? <laughs> and he asked if I was taking the piss. <laughs> and then I suddenly remembered it was cherry pink. All right. There you go, there you go. Well, I've learned something now. I learned something. <laughs> so, um, right. If you're asleep when I come back, I'll, I'll just... Asleep. um. I'm fine, it's nice. I'll it's give you a I'm kick. warm. Warm on the right and cold on the left. <laughs> uh, so I'm heading back to my tripod. I'm going to put my camera back on. And I'm going to go for this shot here. You can't really see it, but there's a pile on there with some... Uh, electric cables and I'm going to go for the conversion lines Let's see if I can get them just see them up there let's give that a go So a big thanks to Glenn for coming around yesterday and making it a fun night. Unfortunately, we didn't get any Astor imaging done due to the weather, but it made a nice change to play around with the DSLRs and hopefully we got a couple of nice images. So um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, we certainly had a bit of fun and uh, thanks to all of my subscribers. If you're not subscribed yet and you like this kind of thing, then please hit that subscribe button. That'd be much appreciated. 
and I wish you all clear skies.